attention, son. This is for your own good. We all know about the Panama Canal, built by the U.S. in the Central American nation of Panama. It's an interesting and controversial part of U.S. history. I'll do a text segment on it later this week just to round out our knowledge and information on the subject. But today's lesson is devoted to something I'll bet you never heard of, the Nicaragua Canal. Here's the story. Maybe you've never heard of the Interoceanic Nicaragua Canal because it doesn't exist. Yet. It's just an idea, but the idea took a step toward reality in June of 2013 when the Nicaraguan government gave a Chinese company called the HKND Group 50-year rights to build through their country a canal which, like the one in Panama, would connect the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, making shipping easier and quicker. Now, one of the differences between the Panama Canal and its potential future rival is that the new canal would be wider, and able to accommodate today's bigger supertankers and transport ships that the Panama Canal, built 100 years ago, can't, even with expansion projects currently underway there. Another difference is that HKND would also build a railroad, two shipping ports, an oil pipeline, and an international airport in Nicaragua, and be able to extend its canal rights for an extra 50 years after the first 50-year grant expires. The Nicaragua Canal would be three times as long as the 48-mile Panama Canal and would take many years to complete at a price tag estimated at $40 billion. But with the rapid growth in east-west shipping trade as China continues to boom as a world economic powerhouse, HKND officials feel a new and larger canal, even though complex and expensive, will be profitable. Nicaraguans, however, aren't so sure. There's already opposition to the plan. While some say it'd be an economic boon and create jobs in a poor nation with very high unemployment, others say the government is selling the country to foreign interests, like the Panamanians did a century ago. We'll see what happens in the next decade or so, whether the project becomes a reality or, like other efforts before it, a bust. I'm the Transit TV teacher, Justin Vior.